for most of my stage work, um, when I'm playing acoustic guitar, I would always have problem with feedback. Uh, back in the uh, the mid '90s to the early 2000s, all we were using on stage were like monitor wedges. There were no um, major use of IEMs, uh, you know, in-ear monitors. So we were all dependent on amplifiers and monitor uh, wedges. So when it comes to acoustic guitar, I always had problem with the feedback because of certain frequencies that that would uh, trigger off feedback from the the monitors. And of course, uh, depending on the volume that I play in. And you know, when fatigue sets in, when uh, especially after rehearsals and sound check and show, sometimes you will start cranking up. And most of the time, you start cranking up the volume every now and then. And it comes to a point where you know certain frequencies will hit that 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 threshold, and it will just feed back like crazy, and it will howl like crazy. And that's bad, you know. So uh, for most of my stage work, I will use the Gordon multi rack. Uh, which suits its purposes because it has less feedback than a, a full blown acoustic guitar with a with a with a pickup system. And then again, I, you know, even with that, I still have occasional feedback. So, yeah, you know. So I always had problem with that, and uh, uh, come year um, 2010, 2011, 2012, I bought the go. I bought the um, this one, the Taylor uh, GS Mini, uh, and decided to use this for stage work but in so in the whole process i installed the uh anthem pickup the uh, the arabex anthem pickup and it sounded great you know this pickup system works really well with this guitar and uh but i need a a, a preamp for this you know in order to to have further uh, control over the tone and 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 what i'm sending to the uh the live the foh uh, foh engineer so I got myself at the same time when I got this guitar. I I I, I got myself a Arabax uh, venue, right? And uh, this comes with a cute little case, so you can protect your unit or you stow it uh, inside your luggage or you know whatever it is in your guitar bag. And um, I'll put the price down as to how much this thing costs. The Arabex uh, venue has a really nice interface at the front. Uh, we have the EQ section on the top and uh, additional uh, adjustment at the bottom. We have the, uh, the bass, low mid, high mid, presence and treble. And at the lower end, uh, at, the, at the lower section we have the notch, which I'll explain to you later on. This is where you can actually uh, tune or rather EQ to which uh, low mid frequency do you want to adjust to cut or to add same goes for the high mid so we have the gain and i'll explain to you this later on you have the phase switch which you can engage if your guitar is sounding out of phase well the notch is a very interesting uh, and very useful uh, uh, function here in this arabex venue because this can filter out uh, frequencies that is causing feedback when you are playing with uh, a, a live wedge, a monitor wedge, uh, in on stage, and you're hearing like you know a certain feedback coming in. Of course, you have to keep your stage volume uh, down to a manageable uh, volume in order to cut down feedback. But sometimes, even when you do that, there are still certain frequencies that will jet out. So this notch uh, cuts off the uh, the dreaded frequency. And of course, the gain is where, in this case, I'm hooked up to a to a uh, XLR out, so this will control the 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 uh, the, the amount of gain that's coming out from this unit in the XLR. If you had it patched on a a quarter inch out, then this volume will play a part. So this volume is actually for here. This gain is for here. But again, this gain is for the overall uh, volume. In this case, where you have the XLR, it bypasses the volume knob here. I hope you got that. And of course, you have uh, the battery check where you can actually um, check how your battery is doing. Uh, again, this unit can be run both in uh, both on batteries as well as power supply. And uh, you have a mute switch and a tune switch here. So when you mute this, the unit is mute. And at the same time, you can actually tune your guitar. This guitar, right? So. Uh, 
very useful on stage because when you're tuning, you don't want anybody to hear that you are tuning. <laughs> and the interesting part about this is that you have a boost switch here. Uh, this will boost up a couple of dBs up, I don't know, maybe about 10, uh, 8 to 10 dB up for you to do any uh, solo work or anything when you need a volume boost in any part of the song. So the whole interface in the front is really catered for live performances. The back panel has a really basic um, setup here. We can we can you can see this is the uh, ground and, and, and lift and ground lift switch where you can actually activate when you are having a problem with your grounding on stage. And this of course is the XR out. And you have the boost uh, where you can actually activate this. No, you can actually adjust this boost. Uh, remember the switch here, uh, where you can actually adjust your 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 volume up when you depress the switch. It would it would boost up. You can actually adjust how much boost you want. So it's actually I was wrong. It's from I was not actually wrong. I was quite right. It was zero to nine dB boost. So you can actually adjust how much boost you want. And then you have the send and return for effects. You can actually patch a reverb unit or anything that you want. And of course, this is the uh, nine volt uh, input power input. Uh, I don't think this unit came in with a with a dedicated power supply, which is the only downside. So I actually had to buy a a, a boss power supply for this. So. Um, yeah, basically, and of course you have the sign. I forgot to show you the sign. So here we have the quarter inch out, and then the quarter inch in. And the unit is very sturdy. So this is assembled in America, assembled in the USA. And um, this is a battery compartment where you can put a 9 volt battery. Nice rubber uh, pads here so that the unit will not slip on stage, really useful. So I've been using this live for uh, many occasions and it, it it performs flawlessly. This thing is a godsend to me because it helps me so much in my stage work because it, it, it helps me to tone the guitar tone that I want in place of an amp, instead of an amp. Uh, and it has this notch system which cuts down the frequency that causes a feedback. I use that a lot for because every different environment um, has different acoustics, so you do not know uh, which frequencies is going to feedback the most. So that notch, that notch is really useful. Yeah. So uh, if you do a lot of stage work, this is something that you might want to invest in. Of course, there are other uh, uh, other um, DIs or you know stuff like this. Like what are Arab backs? This 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 is the. Uh, the later version, there's an earlier version, which is the DI, which has this, almost the same thing. And uh, it runs on phantom power, if I'm not mistaken, as well as battery. So this runs on, um, on battery, 9 volt battery, as well as uh, a power supply. And uh, yeah, I mean, on stage, you, don't want to be, you do not want to be dependent on a 9 volt battery because you, know, you don't want to go out of juice in the middle of a show. So that's about it. So take a look at uh, what uh, Arabex can offer, as well as other brands. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and if you do give me a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel and uh, press that bell so that you will be notified of any videos that comes out in the future. So in the meantime, you take care of yourself. Ciao.